Hi guys, so as promised, um, here's a tutorial on how to change a ordinary picture into a low-key portrait. Um, so we're going to start by opening our picture into Adobe Camera Raw. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, click on our adjustment brush. And as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, um, we're going to change the exposure right the way down to um, the lowest point it will go. And our contrast we're going to take up to plus 100. Our highlights are going to go down to minus 100. And our shadows are also going to go down to minus 100. Okay, so we've now got our brush. If we scroll a little bit further down, um, we can see we've got our brush size, which is okay at the moment, as you can see. And we've got our feathering. Now, I use my feathering at 100. Um, the reason being is you can actually get a lot closer to the subject. Um, without actually ruining it. So if we start off with our brush, as you can see we're going to paint in a very dark background here, okay, and we're going to go up as close as we can towards the edge of the actual image itself. Now you can see that it isn't totally 100% dark at the moment, but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to go over it again and we're going to make sure that it does go completely black for us. Okay, so as you can see, we're just going to go around the edge of the image here. Okay, and you can see there's, there's a little slight sort of halo at the moment. But as I said, that's fine because we're going to go over it again. Alright, so as you can see, we've, we've gone around our image. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the new. And then when we actually start to paint again, it will um, default back to add. Okay, now as you can see, it's getting a lot darker. You're getting right up to the edges now, which is obviously, that's what we want. We want to get up as close to the edge as we can without actually ruining the edge itself. Okay, so that to me is, is pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our radial filter. And then if we scroll back up, we can see that we've kept the settings as it was for the adjustment brush. Okay, then we're going to start in the middle and we're going to drag it out slightly. Now what we want to do is we just want to um, give it a little bit uh, down the bottom where we've, we've kind of taken off the, uh, the final edge. So as you can see, I'm pretty happy with that one. So next we're going to go uh, back to our adjustment brush. Just give it another quick painting over. Just make sure that we're getting as close to the edge as possible. You want to get right down onto the edges as, as best you can. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Next thing we're going to go into our uh, normal adjustments. Okay, so you can see the exposure and the contrast highlights have gone back to uh, their midpoint again. So what we're going to do is we're going to touch the contrast up a tiny bit. And then we're going to pull our blacks down a little bit and then pull up our shadows. As you can see these whites are a little bit um, what I would say is blown so we're going to pull the highlights back down okay and then maybe we'll tweak the whites just a tiny little bit. Now I would have the blacks maybe a tiny bit more. As you can see you've still got this little halo around the top but we can um, we can get rid of that. So maybe Pull the blacks up just a tiny bit, just so we can see this bottom edge here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the clarity up a bit. That's going to give us our sort of drawn and, and painted feel. Okay, so again I'm quite happy with that one. So if we then go back into the adjust adjustment brush again, and now we're going to try and get right in close to this edge. Just to try and get rid of some of that little um, tinted halo there. As you can see, it's starting to disappear now. We're still keeping a good edge on it. We've still got the, uh, the hair detail. But we're getting rid of a little bit of that coloration. Right, we don't really want to go much more than that because we don't want to break the integrity of the edge. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open our image.
Okay, so we've got our image here. Uh, just change the brush. Right, and we're going to um, change this to a um, sponge tool. Okay, because we, as you can see, we've still got a little bit of redness there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to desaturate that, and I'm going to take out that redness. So I'm just going around the edge, taking out this little bit of um, red outline. As you can see, it will slowly start to disappear. So as you can see, it is, um, it is slowly going. It does take a little bit of time just to go around it. Um, but once you've, once you've got rid of that, it does make the image look a lot better. Okay, so we've got rid of that edge. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our Layers palette with our right button and we're going to duplicate layer. Okay, we're going to leave it as our background copy and then we're going to go across to our filter and we're going to select Other and High Pass. Now what this does is it actually brings up the edges. Um, so as you can see, what we're looking for is um, to just be able to see it um, through our High Pass layer. So if we click on OK and then what we're going to do is we're going to change the blending mode to overlay. Now, um, once the um, once the overlay is on, as you can see, it's brought up the hair de detail a lot more. Um, it's actually brought up the the edge detail a lot more. Um, I, I'm quite happy with um, with leaving that at um, at a hundred percent. Okay, so um, we'll leave that as it is. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flatten the layer. Okay, so we've, we're now working with one layer again. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to have a look at these eyes. Now, what I would do is I would um, duplicate another layer and use this as my eye layer. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a tiny sharpen. Okay, you don't want too much because you don't want it um, coming through. Um, and sort of making it obviously over sharpened and then what we're going to do is we're just going to change the brush size here and we're going to lighten the eyes slightly okay so we've got a little bit of um, lightening on the eyes there which I'm quite happy with so if we take that back down to the um, to the actual size you can see that the um, the eyes are looking a lot better okay so I'm happy with that one so we're now going to flatten that Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my um, dodge and burning layer. So I'm going to duplicate the layer again. Okay, so we're, so we're working on a separate layer again. And then we're going to bring it up a little bit. And we're going to choo choose our dodging and burning. Okay, so the burn tool obviously is going to make it um, a little bit darker. And the dodge tool will make it a little bit lighter. So we're just going to check. We want a hardness of zero because then that will give you the, um, the lowest amount of, of darkening and then you can sort of um, build it up from there rather than going too much and having to um, obviously erase it out. Okay, so I'm just looking at these black parts now, these dark parts, and I want to give them a little bit more contrast with this burn tool. So as you can see, this is looking, um, this is looking much better now. Okay, we're just giving it a little bit of a burn which I'm quite happy with, like that. <laughs> so I'm now going to check that. That looks uh, pretty good to me. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to flatten the image. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it back into the um, Adobe Cam Camera Raw filter and we're just going to give it a few final little tweaks. So we'll have a go and see what happens with the blacks. There we go, I quite like that. Uh, maybe a touch on contrast, not too much. Um, we don't really need too much of the whites. And we can bring the highlights down a tiny little bit. We can give it one final little tweak on the clarity. There we go, so I'm quite happy with that. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull out these stray hairs by using my heel tool and we're going to keep it on content aware 
and we're just going to paint over those and we're just going to get a couple, rid of a couple of those stray hairs. See now I'm quite happy with that. Looks pretty good to me. There's still a lot of good detail there. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that one. You could um, you could crop it in slightly just to pull it down a little bit, so there's slightly less negative space. And there we go. There is your low key portrait image from a bog standard um, shot that anyone would take.